Yeah, no, I, I have, and that's why when you get, that's a, a great question, Rich, when you get a interlock, when you talk to the provider, you want to find someone who doesn't contract it out, who has their own company, who can, who, who has their own employees that, uh, that will come out 24-7, because you could be stranded anywhere. And your car is not starting because of a malfunction in the interlock. And some of these companies can't get you right away or won't get you for many hours or the next day. So you want to have someone who, you know, can give you a better, you know, guarantee that, that that's the way they work, that they will get you, that they will come right away and, and fix it and repair it. Um, because that, you know, can be a major problem. So those are the types of questions you want to ask. You want to ask what happens if... If it's not working, if the car won't start because of it, um, or if it stops working, um, if it stops the car, if, if it malfunctions, um, so be ask those questions.